Danny with Calvert Library and welcome to Don't Try This at Home, but we do want you to try this at home. We're going to do a little bit of kitchen science today. I've got a little experiment to share with you. Very easy to do. You only need a couple of things and we are going to need a plate, a shallow plate, but something that has a lip on it, something that you could put some liquid in. We're going to need a Q-tip. We're going to need some milk and some food coloring and some soap. So watch what happens. We're gonna first just put a little bit of milk on our plate, just enough to kind of cover the bottom of it. You can do any kind of milk with this. In fact, you might wanna try it with different kinds of milk. Then we're gonna take our food coloring and we're just gonna put a couple of drops of each color. Any place on the plate, I'm gonna put them toward the middle. It works anywhere though. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue. And you can put these anywhere you'd like. A little bit of green, just a color. And a little bit of red. So, now I'm gonna change the angle of the camera so that you can see what happens when we put our soap in our dish. Here we go. Okay, so here we can see we've got our milk and we've got our food coloring in our little spots. So if I take just a regular Q-tip and put it in here, nothing's happening, right? But if I take that Q-tip and I put soap on it, this is just regular dish soap. I don't want too much on there, but have it cover the thing. Now, look what happens. Isn't that amazing? Look at those beautiful colors. Why did that happen? What will happen if I put it over here? Oh, look. How about over in the blue? Beautiful. So the molecules from the soap are interacting with the molecules in the milk. And as long as there are fat molecules in that milk to interact with, the colors will keep swirling. Isn't it amazing? So we can try it with different kinds of milk too. We could try, this was 2% milk. 2% or whole milk tends to work the best because they have the most fat in them. But you can also try it with cream, with buttermilk, all kinds of different milks. We'll all have the same reaction, just in slightly different, different ways. Amazing. All right, let's try it now with some heavy whipping cream. So a lot more fat in this one. So let's see how it reacts. I'm gonna put our drops of food coloring again, just like we did before. You can also do them on the outside of the plate if you prefer. Look, you can see it looks a little different already, doesn't it? All right, so let's take our soap now and see what our, what our heavy whipping cream does. Ooh, super slow. Can you see it's moving? It is moving, but it's just moving in super slow motion. There we go. This is so much thicker and has so much more fat in it that it's reacting in a different way. It's still beautiful though, isn't it? What if I put it over here? See? Mostly this is because it's just so much thicker than regular milk. But still, some beautiful colors. A color explosion. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that experiment and that you go try it at home. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned to the Calvert Library's social media feeds for lots more programs for everyone. Thanks so much.